Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Crystal and today I'm going to show you how to do this Rihanna inspired makeup look. So if you guys want to see how to do this smoky kind of cat eye look, then just keep on watching. First I'm going to use this uh, detail makeover contour and blush effects. So it's basically a contour blush and highlight palette. So I'm just using that contour shade as my transition shade. So that's going to be the first color for my eyeshadow and that will just create this nice gradient effect. So I'm going to start with the light color first and yeah. So here I'm just blending the color because you don't want super harsh lines or edges. So blend, blend, blend because blending is the key. Next, I'm just using this eyeshadow from Sush and E098. You can buy these individually and you can create and customize your own palette. And I'm just using this dark, dark brown, almost black, on my crease and creating like a V shape on my outer corners. And this will just give you that cat eye effect. And now I'm just focusing that on my outer corner just to darken it up and don't make it too harsh you still want to maintain the V shape but still you want that smooth edges at the same time so you can achieve that by blending the edges ever so slightly and you can reapply the color and darken it up and apply more layers it depends on how dark you want it to be you can even use your finger to blend it just like what I did. And now I'm just using, I mean I'm doing the same on the other eye. It's basically the same procedure but uh, this time I'm going to compare the two. Like I would have to look at the mirror from time to time just to kind of compare the two making sure that they're very identical. See you always need to pause for a while and look at yourself in the mirror if both eyes are the same. Then I'm using this eyeshadow from Sush again in E026. And this is a different shade. This is slightly lighter than the first color that we used. And this is just like a chocolate color. The other one was a dark, dark brown. And I'm just using this on my crease just to darken up my crease. And I'm using different shades of brown to start my makeup look. This way, it won't look too harsh and you'll have that nice gradient effect. And now I'm just using this palette from Wet n Wild and Spoiled Brat. I'm just using that black shimmery color but you can't even see the glitters once you apply it. So I'm just using that to deepen up my uh, outer corners and just focusing it on the same spot. I'm not touching much of that V that I created earlier. Okay, so I am just blending and blending and doing the same. And as you can see, I'm dipping back my brush into that black and trying to build up the intensity of this um, black. And it really depends on you how dark you want it to be, but I just want it to look as dark as Rihanna's um, eye makeup look. So I just added more black and until I reach my desired um, look. So here I just went back to the first color. From the, from the first Sush eyeshadow that I used and I'm um, just deepening up my crease even more. And as you noticed, I started with the light colors first moving and moved on to the darker colors and again that way I would start too harsh because if you start with a darker color first it's gonna ruin the entire look so but then again it depends on what you're more comfortable with I'm just more comfortable with um, starting with the lighter colors so here I'm just using my makeup revolution flawless palette and I'm just using this dark champagne color on my eyelids half of my lids and now we're bringing light to this look and I'm just using this very um, shimmery champagne color and almost silver because Rihanna's eyes look very shimmery on her inner corners and 
them, just bringing it up and yeah, dragging the color up. Yeah, so just creating like a mountain shape because um, you want the eyes to look round but still dark on the outer corner. So that's what I'm doing right now. But I'm gradually adding um, shimmer to my eyes because I don't want it to be too um, shimmery. I don't want to spread too much of that shimmer. You still want to keep the matte um, shades intense. But Rihanna's makeup is always on point. And you guys know that she has a new uh, makeup line, the Fenty Beauty. And I'm not sure if she used the, I mean, her own makeup line for this look, but I'm 99% sure because what else is she gonna use, right? So I'm just using the brow bone shade from this uh, same palette, the um, Spoiled Brat palette, and it has this shimmery silver color. And I'm just putting that on top of the um, champagne color that we applied earlier. And this will just bring more light to this is look. And now we're going back to the LA Girl palette and using the white shade, white shimmery shade. And placing that on the, just on the center of the eyes. And this will make the eyes pop even more. Like I said, I'm bringing light slowly to this look. And you just need to do it very slowly and it's just about making layers and you know layers of different colors but you need to really think about what colors to choose first what's next so it just really depends on what look you're going for but for this specific look you definitely need to do layers and layers of colors okay so now we're just applying this wet and wild um, color icon um, cold pencil I think and this is just a drugstore brand and really affordable and you can get this from your local drugstore and now I'm just applying this just on my um, upper lash line and creating just a tiny bit of wing because we're actually gonna apply two eyeliners one pencil and one liquid so I first applied the pencil first because then we can smudge it and it's gonna look more natural so I'm just smudging that with my finger so after this I'm going to apply a liquid eyeliner and I'm going to apply the liquid as close to my lash line as possible and that will make my eyelashes look thicker I'm just using this fashion 21 liquid eyeliner it's like my all-time favorite I know there's a lot of um, eyeliners out there but this one is very tacky when it dries it's very tacky and the false lashes sticks to this so much better than other eyeliners yep so you guys should definitely try this if you love wearing falsies definitely try this because the falsies really cling onto this really well and um, like I said I've tried other eyeliners oh anyway I'm using this black eyeshadow again just on top of both of the eyeliners the pencil and the liquid and this will just make it more natural so I'm just smudging it on top of both smudge 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 and as you can see by doing so, you're making it more natural and you won't see any harsh black line because Rihanna didn't have like a thick line on top of her lashes. So it looks like smoky, but then there's no harsh black line. So now I'm just, just applying my false lashes and using the Koji Lash Concierge, my favorite lash glue. And if you want to do, if you want me to do a separate um, eyelash on how to apply eyelashes video, then let me know. It's really my pleasure to show you guys how I apply my falsies. 
because I love um, doing talk through tutorials and things like that like basic makeup tutorials so now I'm just using this um, contour shade the top contour sh contour shade just bringing back the warmth to this look because I applied too much dark too much black colors and gray so I'm just bringing back the brown warm brown tones so now I'm just retouching my foundation because I feel like it has melted throughout the tutorial so um, I, forgot, I think I was using the Estee Lauder double wear it's my favorite so now I'm just using the she cosmetics concealer with brush and the shade vanilla to conceal my under eyes and this is not like a highlighty concealer it's just like a normal concealer um, just like a few shades lighter than my skin tone because Rihanna didn't highlight her under eye too much now I'm just using the RCMA a no color powder to set my makeup and she didn't do much highlighting her face looked super bronze really nicely contoured but not too much like you can definitely see her real skin color but then it looks really pretty okay so her face was matte but it was highlighted at certain points of her face now I'm just going back to the second um, swoosh eyeshadow that I used E026 just smudging that on my lower lashes connecting it to the outer V and this really completes the look I mean the eye makeup look and then going back to that second um, shimmery color from the LA girl palette just applying that on the um, lower part of my eyes okay so next I'm applying the um, L'Oreal false lash butter Fly waterproof and I really love the brush because it has a lot of longer and shorter bristles and my husband is laughing on <laughs> why are you laughing why are you laughing <laughs> why <laughs> he said I look like I'm enjoying myself here well I am now I'm just applying this contour shade right below that other contour shade and just contouring my face with that and just making like a C shape okay and I'm just doing the same on my other cheek and then adding more <laughs> Lol, what are you doing? <laughs> say hi hi guys <laughs> okay so I'm just adding that um, same color my forehead and everywhere I usually contour and for some reason there's this spot on my cheeks and whenever I apply product there the product never sticks so I just used my finger to apply my contour and blended it with a brush and my brother called me he was inviting me to watch a movie but he ended up being lazy and love what are you doing? <laughs> okay guys Someone needs a pillow right now Okay, so I'm just using this first um, contour shade which is a warmer um, color So um, this is slightly uh, more reddish than the other contour shade And I'm just using a fluffy stippling brush to blend this on my cheeks And I want to achieve Rihanna's um, bronzy brown skin so I really love her color so I'm just trying to achieve that by using a contour powder or powder contour <laughs> and I'm using the same contour shade to contour my nose and she didn't do any crazy contouring so I'm just slightly contouring my nose nothing too exaggerated then for my cheeks I mean for my blush I'm using the beauty treats heart love blusher palette 
and I'm just using this red, bright red shade because on her cheeks it looks like a bright red color. But I apply too much, so I'm gonna be blending forever. And yeah, I look like a clown now. So now I'm gonna blend, 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 blend some more, and <laughs> blend until it looks more natural. So now I'm just using the Etude House lip liner, um, the shade down below in the description box. So I'm just overlining my lips. Just because Rihanna has really full and luscious lips. So, just overlining my lips, but not too much because I don't want to look like a duck. And, um, yeah. So, this is just a brown shade. So, this one is the iMagic Professional Cosmetics in number four. It's a, it's a liquid lipstick, dries matte, and just applied some on the center of my lips spreading it with my finger just a tiny bit of that because Rihanna just used a lip gloss her Fenty lip gloss um, I think because um, it looks glossy so this is the cinnamon bun from she lip gloss and I'm just trying to copy the Fenty Beauty lip gloss so that she came up with a lip gloss for the first time and it's just one color fits all and it's good for women of color, for girls with lighter skin tone, or for Asian. So it's for everyone. Now I'm just using this um, She Cosmetics concealer. This is the contour shade. Wow. <laughs> and just applying some on my lower lip because um, this will create a poutier lips. It's gonna make your lips look more fuller. Yeah, so it's just, it's like a contouring technique that I love. And this is the Intuit. Um, yeah, Intuit, you're gonna see in a bit. <laughs> Intuit Facial Highlighters in Radiant Pinks. And just applying that on my cheeks. Yep. I'm not really a fan, like a big, big fan of highlighters. There's just a couple that I like, but I'm really picky when it comes to highlighters because I don't want um, uh, highlighters to show the texture of my skin. But my favorite is still the ColourPop Over the Moon. So finishing this look with some highlight on my Cupid's bow and hers is really really um, defined. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And thank you, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell before you leave so that your phones will be updated whenever I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys again next time. Bye! Bye! Bye!